So the PlayStation 5 finally got revealed on June 11th after Sony postponed the initial release date to protest against racism and to support the Black Lives Matter movement. In this video, we're going to talk about the console as well as the games that were revealed at the event. So here's everything you need to know about the PlayStation 5 reveal event. Starting off with one of my most favorite and a very expected reveal, Spider-Man Miles Morales. I have been a huge Spider-Man fan since my childhood and I really enjoyed the last Spider-Man game that came out exclusively for the PlayStation 4 in 2018. If you are a Spider-Man fan and have also watched Into the Spider-Verse, you'll also be very excited about this game. Next up another very exciting title which is Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Now if you have not played the first Horizon Zero Dawn game then believe me when I say you have missed one of the best games of all time. Watching Aloy go west to a brand new location which furthermore involves brand new story and gameplay is very appealing for anyone who has played the previous game. Now let's take a break from the games and talk about the new console itself. I kind of really like the look of the PlayStation 5. It has this futuristic vibe to it with a very abstract shape and the dreamy lights. I gotta say it looks a lot better than the Xbox Series X which has a very simple rectangular box like look. The PlayStation 5 will also have a discless version which will only support digital copies of the games. Although the price of any of the versions has not been revealed yet. Along with the console, Sony also revealed a whole family of products. The new DualSense controller, a charging dock for the controller, a headphone, an HD camera and a media remote. Now going back to the games, GTA 5 is also coming to the PlayStation 5. I think this is a very wise step from Rockstar and PlayStation since the game is still one of the most popular games and has a huge fan base who still play the game on a regular basis in the form of GTA Online and even GTA RP. Next up we have Resident Evil 8. The trailer looked very promising. The entire Resident Evil franchise has been quite successful with all their games and also with the remakes. This particular game is not going to be a PlayStation exclusive and will be coming out sometime in 2021. Returning to the exclusive, the Ratchet & Clank series is getting a new game and this one is called Rift Apart. Looking at the trailer, the game seems really fun to play. If this is the actual gameplay we see in the video then I think it's going to be a really great game and I would so like to play the game as soon as it launches. Sackboy is another exclusive platformer game that was revealed. I don't know about you but I have played a lot of platformer games and I'm very fond of this genre and I'm totally digging this game when it comes out. Project Athia is the next game we're going to talk about. This particular game is still under development and does not have its final name yet. It is being developed by Square Enix who are known to make very good games and the trailer looks pretty amazing as well. Gran Turismo 7 also got an official launch trailer. And that's pretty much all about it. Well I'm not a huge fan of simulated card games so this didn't excite me that much. It might interest people who are into simulated racing games unlike me who crashes the car 10 times in the first 50 meters. Next up is Godfall. A good thing about this game is it is launching in 2020 and also everyone thought it might be an exclusive which it is not so we will be able to play a new hack and slash game pretty soon. Ghostwire Tokyo also got a trailer and I couldn't figure out much about the game from the trailer but all I can say is it looks futuristic and weird and so I'm definitely trying it up. Now we are finally going to talk about the Demon Souls remake. If you like Dark Souls or any other hard and challenging game then this game is absolutely meant for you. Demon's Souls is one of the best games of the genre and now it's finally getting a remake. There are lots of other games that were revealed and most of them had a small teaser trailer with not much info about it. So I tried covering all the exciting ones and you might find the others exciting as well. So comment down below what was your favorite reveal from the event and let us know your thoughts about the video. This is me Decker, see you again next time.